sitting on the place You set my heart on fire So we saw that sound And falling on tears We were born to make history If you guys haven't watched Yuri on Ice yet, get your butts to the computer and go and watch it! Good morning everybody. Biked out to this point on my little bike. It's a beautiful day today. this I'll show you guys that and then bike home and get ready but I was just sitting here and I looked across the street and I was like you know what? I haven't been to our Kelowna art gallery in a while where I'm at Geo Bean right now which is a coffee shop here in Kelowna attached to the Delta Hotel it's great if you guys are from Kelowna and haven't tried it also if you're just passing through it's a really nice coffee shop everyone here is really nice but I looked across the street and it says free admission on Thursdays from 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. so I like super duper want to go to the art gallery so we're gonna do that after, and then I've got someone coming to clean out the ducks. Ducts, not the ducks, not the like mallard ducks, the ducks with a T <laughs> in my house. And then I have someone who's coming to inspect. Um, when I bought my house, there was a little bit of mold in the roof, so they're gonna come and clean that up today. So lots happening at my house. I'm not gonna be streaming, it is Thursday, but I'm having a good day. Okay, so you know how I told you I've worn these shoes for so long? Look at this. Look at that, you guys. I think it's about time I go and bought another pair of combat boots. I've been wearing these babies for like six years. <laughs> oh my god. And the sun comes into my house. It's so beautiful. I bought two new plants yesterday, a peace lily and an aloe vera plant, and I'm really excited about them. Also, my orchid is like incredible. The tip is to go to Costco when you're buying your orchids. They're amazing, and when you buy them, make sure to get the ones that have the most buds. Don't get the ones that are already opened, get the ones with the most buds. You can go count them all, get your favorite color, get your favorite pot, because like that orchid in the window over there, Brings me so much joy. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. So, oh, I haven't really talked to you guys about this today. Oh my gosh. So I had my ducks clean today. I wasn't able to stream. Um, I had an absolutely amazing morning. I'm sure you guys saw all the beautiful scenery and the incredible sunny day it is in Kelowna right now. But um, I am going to be getting a puppy. Um, it's something that I've been thinking about for a really long time. I've wanted a puppy and a cat forever. Like. Ever, 
ever. I've last time I got animals, my last animal I got was Inky, um, who you guys know is my black cat. But both Millie and Inky live at my parents' house, and they are living the life up there. We live in the middle of nowhere, way outside of the city, and it gives them the most adventurous outdoor life they can possibly imagine. And I can't give that to them where I live. Um, I am in a residential neighborhood, and I mean, even though I get tons of animals here, um, it's just not good when an cat is outdoors to go to a new home and be outdoors. Sometimes you get them running away, sometimes they try and run home. Um, so I just didn't want to confuse them, they're older now. Um, but I've always wanted to get an animal. So a long time ago I did a thing called World War Kitty, um, and around the same time I allowed subscribers and donators to vote with their subs and donations, and the points went towards a vote between a cat and a dog, and you guys are awesome and cruel, and you voted a dog, and while this decision is still my own, um, I'm going to be going with a puppy for my first pet. So two of the dogs that I was interested in was a King Cavalier Charles Spaniel, King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, um, which are adorable. They're so fluffy. I really like them because as they get older, they don't look that much older. Like I know a lot of people's dogs, I look at them and they're like so cute when they're puppies, but then they get old, I'm like, ugh, I'm pretty I'm picky. But okay, I love any dog, but I get pick I get picky with my own dog. Um, and another dog that I've always wanted, because of my height, because of my stature, I sit, stand really tall, um, was a Great Dane, and this is a dream of mine my entire life, and I never ever thought that I would have the opportunity. I didn't know much about the breed, um, but uh, the last couple years I've learned that they actually are quite a lazy dog, and they suit a small home and an apartment very well, because they just like to chill and relax, but they'll also go exercise with you. Um, so I was online the other day, and I found a Great Dane, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, Kitty, why aren't you adopting? And while I love adopting, all all the animals that we have in my parents' house are adopted. Well, Inky is rescued out of the swamp, but he was abandoned, so technically that's adopted. Um, <laughs> he's a swamp kitty. Um, but I am totally for adopting. I love adopting. And the really cool thing about BC is we have amazing, amazing spay and neuter initiatives, and we're great with get catching the stray dogs and making sure they're spayed and neutered. So we don't really have very many puppies. And if you go to the SBC, there's actually only one dog there right now. So I found a Great Dane puppy. I'm gonna go see her today. I hope you guys love her as much as I do. And I'm gonna take tons of videos and photos of you, of her for you. I'm excited. Can you tell us why I'm stuttering? But um, I gotta do some errands, and then my mom and I are gonna drive to Penticton together. So my battery just died, but I'm about to leave to Penticton. Also, I threw out my boots. My boots I've had for six years. I threw them out, and don't worry, they're like, not, I can't recycle them, they're total like pleather and gross, but um, luckily I have, this is my outfit of the day, I'm wearing my Zara jeans with my Gap Grey t-shirt. I believe I got this for a scarf at Joe, which is like the Superstore brand. Um, this jacket is also from Zara. Uh, this bag I got at Marshalls is actually an Ivanka Trump bag, uh, which considering the election is kind of funny, but I actually really like her and what she's done, even though she's been, you know, born into the life of luxury she does have really amazing companies and this was one of them and i love the bag it's like a little purple bucket bag um but this is my outfit of the day but look at i'm wearing my horseback riding paddock boots and i actually think they look really cute together so even with brown jeans or i might want to wear like or with blue jeans i'd want to wear like a brown boot but i think the black ones look nice so here's my outfit of the day we're gonna go run errands and then we're going to been ticked in for the puppy
Please.